it's that time again to look at a screenshot. And we got our final screenshot of the final animal that we haven't really seen so far. And this is the wonderful fossa. Now, what you can definitely tell from this screenshot, two things. Uh, the one thing might interest you, the other one maybe not, but it does interest me. Like the first thing is that this thing looks really cool and it has a really, really nice fluffy, but then not so fluffy uh, kind of shading on the fur, which I like. And also the fur, like shading and stuff looks really cool like you can even see how tight the skin is around the body and then you have a very um, also like a very narrow fur uh, kind of it's not really thick you know it's not a thick layer of fur it's like very very short hair um, it makes it almost look like as if it's a you know uh, naked almost but it's not like it's, like it's a tiny layer of fur above it uh, and then the uh, very like um, symbolic or iconic uh, face of the fossa. Really do like it. I like how the ears are shaped and stuff like that. It's like really, really neat. Uh, it's a, it's also a beautiful screenshot. I love how they layered everything in the background. Like it's in the tree, obviously, but then uh, it seems almost like they have a bit more than just one tree. Maybe that it uh, used the trick of, you know, uh, putting two trees into one. But one thing that in particular stands out to me is the, uh, again, overall look of the animal, the quality of the animal, the quality of the um, the eyes in particular in this one is is really interesting like look at that one it's it's very sh very sharp uh, very very tiny but then again it's you know it almost looks like from Lord of the Rings by the way <laughs> but you know uh, it's the eye of Sauron no I'm just I'm just very much impressed by um, yeah the versatility they have going in the animals and it seems to be yet again a pack with a very neat a range of animals. I uh, can't wait to see how that actually moves in game because they also have like a very gentle way of moving. We can only tell from the picture that it seems to have um, such a way of movement. Like you can see how this leg over here is uh, kind of bent a little bit to the front while it's relatively short to the top. So like you I, it's very hard to explain. It's like when you when you see a movement from the side, uh, if it was a bit more like a, the cheetah, for example, you would have like a longer kind of uh, dent in here. It's uh, very hard to explain, but it looks almost like it has kind of this very, um, you know, very short or tight about above the ground or no, low above the ground, should say, uh, where they move. Like, it's really, really nice. But then the one thing that may not interest you, but it does interest me, is it seems that Frontier does also have the little NVIDIA issue with the blurring, because you can see around the ears, there's a little bit of bleeding going on, or like a double layer of whatever. Same goes uh, in the back here with the with the fur. I have the same. It's a little bit of a pity, because it looks even better in-game, so don't you worry if you have recognized that. It's a problem of the NVIDIA Ansel. Uh, that is the program with which you you can make some uh, depth of field and stuff like that, uh, which they have done here for the background blurring and stuff. And you can really tell that around the ears, it seems to have the same issue that I have. Not as bad as I have, but you can tweak a couple settings to make it look a little bit better. But other than that, there's not really much more to say. It's just about time that we are back um, with the game, like it's not long until the DLC drops and I can't wait to build with it. I have also already decided for the first animal in uh, Zoo Sicily and it might come to a surprise to you that it will be, and I will already tell you why not, I mean you will see it at least from, uh, at latest from the screenshot on Tuesday, but it's gonna be, or it's actually, maybe it's actually Wednesday. I do have a day off on Tuesday, but I'm not sure if I, I will be done but I have a certain idea. I fletched out a couple areas that could work, but um, yeah, it's the Red River Hawk. And I will explain why as soon as you see the habitat. But yeah, until then, have a good time. And uh, thank you so much as always for watching. A little reminder again, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so because in my statistics, it says that over 56% of you guys watching on a regular basis are not subscribed. How can this be? How is that possible? Anyways, <laughs> have a good time. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.